guys and gals, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We're back again. A noose. Not that Mr. Noose. And uh, we just finished our mission, talking to Luigi. You know, we're basically just doing a little housekeeping, running around talking to everyone. And uh, yeah, now we need to get over here, and I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Let's talk to her, see if she gives us a hint, possibly. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town till you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Oh, my rage is so hot I can cook you in it. Okay, uh, can we buy that from the store, possibly? I don't think you can. Maybe I can talk to him. Welcome, welcome to the Toad's Bros Bazaar. Hey, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Got a contact lens, bro? Bro, I got one right here, bro. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? How soon? Like, leave and come back soon? Hey, fella, sorry, but your contact lens hasn't arrived quite yet. I feel ter about, terrible about this, but you'll have to wait a little longer. Uh, okay, what do I do with my waiting time? Well, I don't know if it's like leave the area and come back wait or what, but how about we just take a little time and go to the job board at least. I mean, why not? It's not like we're doing anything. Oh, not that door. This door. They all like nondescript buildings or doors. How am I supposed to tell? Okay, job board. Uh, McGoomba. This is Mick Goomba, and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. Unfortunately, for reasons I won't mention, I can't be seen walking around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house on Rogueport Plaza. And I'll take it on. And Zesty is that lady that's all... I'm so angry you stepped on my contact lens! Oh, no, no, don't want to talk to you. Um, so, we'll go check that out real quick, and we'll go talk to the shop owner afterwards. I'm guessing just leave the area and come back is kind of what he meant by wait a little while because there's not like a long-term task I can do that wastes time. Hey there, McGoomba. You never know who'll be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this package to Goomfree. You'll find him in front of Frankly's place. And try not to be seen. You got a box. Okay. Not telling no one about the box. Does that look like Kirby to you? That looks like Kirby to me. Every time I see this, it looks like Kirby. I don't know why they're drawing graffiti of stars and Kirby, but that's what it looks like to me. Is that you? Hmm? Box. The package! Yep, that's it. I'll dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell me Goomba I said so. And do me a favor, forget all this, you hear me? It never happened, for your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Megumba my message, he'll give you your compensation. Remember, this deal won't be done till you give my message to Megumba. Oh gosh, is there like a body in that box or something? Ugh, I need to go wash my hands. What was in that box? What are we trying to dispose of? Okay, just give me the money and I'll go wash it off and then we'll be good to go. Did you deliver it? Pew, you saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. 20 coins, that's it. You solved the trouble. Eh, that's a bit weak for compensation for delivering what I think might have been a body in a box. Oh, you got my package? Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. That's what I'm doing. Oh, it's on the shelf. Duh. Ten coins. An aid from poor vision. Does Mario really need this? I'm gonna need ten coins for that contact lens. You wanna buy it, fella? Yeah. Thanks, fella. Aw, oh, I can't buy more than one. Okay. We got a contact lens that we assume is the correct size for her eye. We never actually checked. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Contact lens? 
A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief, thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again, I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Jeez, I'm sorry, gosh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go see if she has the ability to make me food now, which would be cool. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompalot? Well, my name is ST. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip something up for you right now? Um, do I have anything? What ingredients would you like me to cook with? Uh, I don't really want to... Let's cook with the Ultra Shroom, because I'm never going to use that until way later. So we'll cook with that. Okay, I'll cook up your Ultra Shroom. I'm going to mix these up for you, so just wait a sec. Doodle dee doo da! Cooking is so much fun. Oh gosh, it's on fire! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but... Go on, take it, Stompy. Shroom steak. Tasty dish made by Zesty. Replenishes 30 HP and 10 FP. So we, we traded out the HP for some FP, which... I can use 30 better than I can use 50, so I'll take it. And we're on the west side of town, finally. It's actually not too bad over here. I like it. We got, I mean, it's still, you know, sort of the same decrepit looking buildings, but we've got some nice grass. We've got a Goomba. Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. Well, it's kind of nice, actually. It's got a water fountain and everything. And let's check out these houses. Just uh, keep in mind, you know, today we're just having a little fun, just running around looking at stuff on our way to doing our mission. Oh, hello there, little boy. What's up? My mom just plays games all day long. She doesn't have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. Oh, goodness. That sounds like me. I play games all day long. Uh, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. You can't use that yet. Grr, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Yep. I'm gonna break your desk! Oh, I can't break the desk. Okay. I guess by games, uh, they mean like the games in the parlor, which we'll go to soon. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Madam Flurry! Eek! I'm such a huge fan, I can't believe I saw you here! Well, that was exciting. Oh, and we got the Koopa up here standing on his bed. Like a proper gentleman. At least I think that's a bed. It's kind of like a relaxing chair. Yet another day dwindles while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Just bending on my feet. Oh, guess what? I won my first prize in the happy lucky lottery today, but... I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh, well. I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. Which, the, uh, the hacky lo happy lo lucky lottery is something else that I think we can partake in if I am correct. I think we can also get back here. I just don't remember how I think it's with that one thing that I couldn't go to yet. Oh yeah, and this is a great we can actually go into if I turn sideways, um, but I forget what's down there and how to get out. Oh yeah, okay. Dum da 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 dum do. Every day is a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I don't think it's supposed to be a song. I'd love to tell you more. <laughs> Get lost. That's the way. Happy lot, happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers. They might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number is coming. If your number matches the day's draw, you'll get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each day at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number. Only 10 coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for 10 coins? 
What's a... Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, Happy, thank you. Here's your number. You got a lottery pick. A lottery number from Lucky Booth. Your number is 0810. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play Lucky and Happy. Go ahead and check the board right now and see if you've won. So, uh, the way this works is we, uh, we have the board, and every day at midnight, according to the Nintendo GameCube clock, which, you know, just keeps running in the GameCube, um, it picks a new number, so we're gonna check it every day we get an opportunity. I won't be spamming the crap out of it, but we'll check it often enough. Um, and then you can also buy a new number if you don't like your number, but it really doesn't change your odds as far as I can tell. And you can only have one lottery ticket at a time. So let's check to see if we won anything. Happy Luckery Lucky Lottery Board. Bomb Bomb Lottery Rules. Jackpot. All numbers match. Second prize, three. Third prize, two. Fourth, one. Today's winning number... Today's winning number is 7121, which we're completely missing at all. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches for today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's the consolation prize. Got a mushroom. Come again tomorrow, which I think we... Let me make sure before I tell you this. Yeah. So we get to keep the lottery number. We can switch it out if we like, but I don't want to. Um, okay, hold on. Ah, oh, all this talking. That's the thing, this game is so much talking, it's difficult. Okay, there's the parlor, we'll go in there in a second. Um, what's up here? Ah, here we go. Hi the cutie, welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? Eh, nothing. Uh, we got Super Shroom, Volt Shroom, Dried Shroom, Life Shroom, Dizzy Dial, and Thunderbolt. Let's grab us a Super Shroom. Aw, oh, thanks, sugar. And I think if we cook that, we get something better. We might do that. Let me check my points, actually. Right now I have three points. Okay. Nope. Okay, that works. And now we'll go to the parlor. And this is the game parlor. So, let's, uh, let's talk to some people. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Finally, someone respects me. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Uh, trade in winnings? You can trade in the piantas you want for prizes. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. So we can get cake mix, which we could get, uh, we could get um, that one chick to make us a cake. Super shroom. Super Appeal, get more star power in Mario Appeals, that might be nice. Refund, ooh, those are all cool. Oh, that's too bad, okay, let's talk to some more people. Psst. this place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. And I think this is the chick they were talking about earlier that plays games. I love checking my scores in this machine after playing games, I'm here all day. What? My family's worried about me? Oh, don't be silly, they don't mind. They're all so independent, they're happiest doing their own things. Why was she singing? Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. Was it now you want to know how to get a Mimbus card, do you? Well, let's see, maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. And I think that means we gotta go to the job board to do that. I am the Pianta Changer changing machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? And let's pull up five Piantas. Beep a beep beep. Exchange complete. Want to exchange more? Nope. Thank you very much. Come again. So let's try our hand at the slot once. And don't worry, I'm not going to try this a lot, I just want to see if I can get anything. Nope. Okay. That was a lovely waste of like 15 coins. The scoreboard. Oh, and there's all these different games. I think... I think we have to have a membership card to play the games though. Like he was talking about. Um, the real question is... The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Um, I 
thought that's how we got to see the boss. Okay, let's go back here at least. This is the only other place I can think of. This is where the blimp actually goes. Okay. Hello, fishman. This blimp goes to Glitchville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Yes. Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. I'm awfully sorry, but you must have a ticket to board the blimp. No free tours today. Darn it. Hey, look, it's one of those dudes. What's up, dude? Dude, 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 what's up? I tell you, I just like standing here gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better. But if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. Oh, and you have to have a, a ticket to get on the train as well. Yeah, just more people talking. Although I could hitch a ride. Oh, there I can't. Um... I can't see where to go. We went to all the buildings. We talked to, like, everyone. Let's go down in the grate and see if that's the way. I'm pretty sure it's a knot, but let me just check. Oh. What's what's down here? Uh sure why not? I, I don't know where this goes. Oh, this goes to that pipe up here. Okay, and now that I know where I am, let's uh, do a little exploring, why not? I mean, that's what we've been doing this whole episode. I don't do a lot of exploring on camera, so I hope you guys can bear with it. Ooh, there's an X here. Oh, I struck first by accident. I must be a boss. Oh, except for I hurt myself. Good job, Mr. 250, you're amazing. Um... Hmm. Run! don't really feel like fighting. Let's go see what's in this pipe. Okay. Got... Pathway. Go! Go! Okay. No fighting for us today. Haha. -ha. Oh, we got something over here. We can't get to though because there's water. Ow. Larry, would you mind blowing this annoying piece of paper out of the way so I could see what's behind it? Ooh, I didn't even mean to strike first. Okay, so I don't know if you saw it, but watch it again. Whenever I'm about to hit a point where I can do an a thing, you'll see an exclamation point pop up. So... I'll line these up. If you see an exclamation point, that's where you're supposed to press A and you get stylish points. It really helps out for if you haven't played it in a while like I have, or if you just don't know the points at all where you're supposed to use them. And Slow Shroom. Make allies recover HP gradually for a brief period. Helpful. Gradual Syrup. Recover FP for a brief period. Um, I guess we'll just toss out the honey syrup. It's not ta not the most useful thing I can think of. Ooh, button. Button, button. Why can't I press button? I need better hammer. Okay. We're done going this way, I guess. Let's check out this pipe we saw. Let's go deeper into the sewers for no reason. I don't... The Pianta guy's not even here. Oh. Oh, this is another way into this, uh, this room of doom. Hmm. Okay. I still want to go in there one day. I think I'm going to reserve one episode one day. Where, when we come back to town, it's just going to be like, okay. When we come back, we're going to go fight in the, in the Cave of 100 Trials, or whatever it's called. And then we're just going to reserve that day. That day, we're not going to get anything done but that. And I'm going to do a lot of fast-forwarding. Um, it's gonna take a while. I think it'll be fun, though. It'll, I think it'll be fun. 
Um, I don't really want to drag you guys the whole way, but I don't know if I should make a video cut here or not. Yeah, let me make a video cut. Uh, we'll be back over in the west side of town, so see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back again. And I did a little research break, just a little quick research break, because uh, I didn't want to run around for too much longer. And I found out how to get uh, the, uh, what you call it, um, find the Dawn. Because if you remember, I was having difficulty finding him. Well, it turns out, so what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to go to, uh, what's it called, to like the east side of town to where those group of people were, and somebody will charge you 64 coins. To, uh, to, uh, what's it called? To get the key to how to get in here. But there's an easier way to do it. You can just do it and you don't have to pay the 64 coins. Also, the star piece. Um, I don't, I don't look into clues too much, but if I need them, I'll use them. So, I can't go through this door. The only way to get it is if I buy, let's see. It says I have to buy a dried mushroom and then a dizzy dial. So let's buy a dried mushroom. Oh, wait, crap. Okay, let's let's store some stuff. Uh, we got a we got a mushroom we want to store. Let's store a slow shroom. Gradual syrup. I think there's an item later on I can get that doubles my storage, and that thing's amazing. You know, I don't have to carry on these in coupons either. I'm saving them for later. Let's store them. Okay. This is good. I'm going to keep the rest of these. Okay. So we buy a dried shroom. And then... A dizzy dial. Oh, thanks, sugar. Hey, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What color is your mustache? Um... It's black. Oops. I'm, what's wrong? With, that wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Um, okay, mister, what's your favorite color? Now, my favorite color's not on here, it's blue. Uh, I'd normally settle for green, however, it says we have to tell them that it's yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out. You know the password. So, uh, you must be acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm an acquaintance. You can go through the door. Go with your, go on with your bad self. Oh yeah, I'm going on with my bad self. Okay, and this is the Pianta's office, which, if you notice, this little shop's next door to the uh, the little Pianta place or whatever. It's actually uh, this is connected to the building with the Pianta stuff. Hey there, big peoples. Hey, this is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. Which is kind of... They're already crying, so weeping isn't any different. You want I should run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must be like pain, funny guy. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you've got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Oh, I just want to save the world. I need all the crystal stars. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And rescue this dame. You're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny is such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. 
Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago they did. They ought to be still nearby. You've got to find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you aren't able to bring them here, then all you got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's because you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss. Boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her... friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. I'm describing it uh, with my brain. It's, it's very complicated. Y you understand? And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Uh, that sounds unfortunate. Oh gosh, no. Legend of Zelda, no, must resist. Pots break. Ah! Okay, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. And like I said, I did a little researching. I know where these people are, so let's go get them really quick. They're at the dock. I know the dock where we come in town. I'm actually going a bit over time, but I'd like to finish this up. We're almost to the point where we can get out of the city. We just got to do one quick thing here, so little overtime. We're actually might not be as overtime as I thought because of that break I took to look up some information. Got to I had to do some science, had to do some research. And uh yeah. So we might not be as bad off as I thought. They look like this. Like that. Oh. That's <laughs> fell off. Okay. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something, or you like just sliding up, sidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do? To you if we fought to do if we do that. Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. <laughs> More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But butter biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course, sniff, or no way, sob sister. Um... See, this is where we're stuck in a tight spot right now, okay? So... This is a nice person. They want to get away, right? And we could let them get away. Um, but, uh, if we did that, 
then we'd have our head probably forcefully removed from our body because uh, we kind of told him we'd help him and he said our luck would turn bad otherwise. And yeah, and I don't like my head going away, so no way, Sob Sister. What did you say to me? You terrible man! Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. We won't move from this spot. Okay, fine. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible person. At least my head won't get ripped off. Okay, let's go tell the Don. He won't, like, forcibly remove my head from my body. But whatever should we do, we have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a rung of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. That's what I was going to do. We were going to go talk to him. Okay, and I heard, apparently... Yep, star piece. Okay. So, these apparently lie around town and stuff. Like, you can... I don't know where exactly they're at, but if you do it periodically, you can find them. So, we might just bound around town a bit, looking for some. Though I don't want to do this everywhere. Oh, wait. I need to be, like, in a spot where I'm not on it, but I'm really close. Is your stupid fat ghost butt on the way? There we go. Is there any more around here, or is that it? Okay, I think we're good. Let's go back, talk to him, tell him where the girl is, so we can go deal with her. And we won't have our head forcibly removed from our body. Or be shot, or be killed, something painful. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? I sure do, and I'll tell you. Because I don't want to get my head forcefully removed from my body. Oh, is that a true fact? Road Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Go get them. Daddy, wait. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, truly I am. Frankie, so back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Arrgh! Enough! Quiet, both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor a long time ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such a disappointment in you, too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad, no, I, I mean, boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Francesca, seeing you just happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. 
It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. Uh, we got blimp tickets, right? Let me make sure before I leave. No, we didn't. Give me my blimp tickets, you fool! You still here? Hmm, well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket like I said. You got a blimp ticket. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Well, uh... I suppose that went fairly well. All things considering. Uh, anyway. This is where we're going to leave off. I went a good bit over time. My, my, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. That's all you had to say? Why, thanks for interrupting me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, or not tomorrow, sorry. I'm, you got an email. I'm going to record again tomorrow is what I was going to say. Um, but I, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, I kind of want to read my email. Where? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's under gear. Koopley, how's life? Mario Koops, how you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow! I'm doing great, drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world entirely different. The world differently now. I bet you like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Koops. So where are you headed next? I want you to see the widow, the wide world, son. Widow, what? Son, it'll be a, it'll be good for you, but don't go too far past that front door. Ha ha ha! From Koopley, and he's just taking a picture, just sort of chilling out. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.